this coach itself has some unique story you were telling us like you, this was kind of like a diamond in the rough like you found it and it was just like perfect for you total serendipity he's like joe you've got to buy this rv a lot of the drivers they're sneaker heads so so their loss was your game yeah hey everyone izzy from endless rv and we are here with a special guest joe graff senior you've seen him on our other videos we'll link one above because we met you last year for the first time yeah. New Jersey native, that's how he knows us. Yeah. But he's also the dad of Joe Graff Jr., who is a driver for the 07 car in the Xfinity series. Behind him is their RV. Not only do they use it for living, they use it for a bunch of other things, which Joe's gonna explain to us. So yeah, what, what do you have here and what do you use it for? So we have a 2006 Renegade. It's on a Freightliner chassis with a Mercedes-Benz engine. And we use it basically as a mobile operations office for FGRXL. And FGRXL represents drivers and corporations to bring them in the NASCAR and get all the benefits of being a sponsor in NASCAR. So this helps us activate from either hosting sponsors and having events out front here or having the drivers uh, come in here, relax, have business meetings, there's a, a bedroom, so there's a day bed, if you will. And in the back, we've got a proper office that we utilize for really our media division. So Chris Thompson, who shoots a lot of our video, will go back there and rip stuff overnight and then put it out the next day, push it out to our social media platforms, and then also to the regular, we do some like over the top mm -hmm. uh, stuff with commercials. This coach itself has some unique story. You were telling us like, you, this was kind of like a diamond, like uh, diamond in the rough, like you found it and it was just like, Perfect for you. So total serendipity. We were at a race in Sebring with, with my buddy Jeff, who had another RV, and he knew the people who owned this, and he's like, Joe, you've got to buy this RV. It's perfect for FGR XL. And what made it perfect is it was owned by an insurance company, and it was built to basically go to areas that were hit by hurricanes or disasters that people could go in, fill out all their information, put their claims in, and people would flow through the back and then come out the front. And it was customized to really be boondocked for days. So upgraded water tanks, upgraded propane tanks, blacks and grays, and then a massive generator on it as well because they had a big satellite dish that they had to power. So really, really quite helpful. So when we saw it, and you know, the smartphone then came out in, in 2006-ish, eight-ish, so they never really used it. So it's a 2006, and so we picked it up with 16,000 miles. It was what stored find. in Florida, inside, so. So their loss was your gain. Yeah, she's been outside the most in her life since <laughs> we've had her for two years now, so. Yeah, so some highlights on the outside. You got the TV, you got the, uh, the tandem axle. This is a garage model, right? Yes. And uh, this pre-DEF, all that. So you yeah. don't have any of that, those it's, issues. It's fantastic. So super nice on the outside, really well kept. Why don't you want to show us what's special on the inside? Sure. So this is the living area or the living room area where we'll host meetings in here. We'll relax, you know, if it's a very hot day between practice, qualifying, we've got a TV here so we can review film and really just help the drivers get ready for the race. In addition to that, you know, we've got a media division. So we've got a couple media people and then we've got guys like Nate who are uh, agents here for the company. And we'll come in here, relax, debrief, talk about what's going on, uh, update our schedules. But, you know, we've got uh, a full kitchen. So the sink, obviously, we've got the stove. We really don't use that too much. We're mostly grilling outside when we do, or we've got events that are catered, the refrigerator then the dinette, and then sometimes in a pinch, we will actually have members of the team stay here. So we've got a nice pull-out bed from the couch. We've got an overhead bunk behind the TV, and then uh, you know, we've got the bathroom and, and the rooms back here. As I said, this is very flexible and very functional for us to use as a mobile operations or a mobile office, if you will. But with that functionality and flexibility, you do get some things that you don't like. And the one thing that I personally don't like about the RV is the walkthrough bathroom. We've got this bathroom here and then it walks into really a, a bedroom but it's more like a, a day bed if you will. So a little small but again if, if the drivers want to relax, decompress, we can make this very dark. They can get in their zone and get ready for what they're going to do. A lot of storage overhead so we can keep our linens, some clothes and a lot of the drivers have their sneaker heads so they love their crazy sneakers so we'll keep sneakers up there. We've got a wardrobe here as well. 
Speaking of sneakers, if we go back into the office here, this is a flexible space. So like I said, we've got our video guys here who are creating content, ripping video, putting it out, a desk area that's set up. We've also got a ladder that goes to the roof. So there's an observation deck. And this really is a flexible space. How it's designed is all these desks, if you pull just a few pins, they collapse into the wall and we can actually turn this into a photo studio, which we've done quite a bit. Let's say a sponsor did not get us a fire suit in time. We can set this up with a, a nice either green screen or black screen background, have the driver put on their suit, their helmet, and you know do their, their poses. So really good flex space for us. Another door, a lot of outlets, its own air conditioning unit. You can see there, the drivers, I was joking about being sneaker heads. We've got a bunch of sneakers there and then this door opens up and we've got a lift gate there that we always have out more like a, like a patio. And that, that helps us with the catering side of things as well. So everybody out there, if you want to follow Joe Graff Jr., where can they follow him? At Joe Graff Jr. on all the socials. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, right? Yep. TikTok. T TikTok yeah, right. he's as on well. TikTok. TikTok as Especially well. Especially if you like sneakers, then he's always posting Yeah, he's an unbelievable sneaker head, probably has over a hundred pairs and like grails. He's <laughs> He's got quality stuff. So. And what are you drinking right now? So I'm drinking a bucked up energy drink. This is Killa OJ. <laughs> so, uh, you know, bucked up is, is a big, uh, big supporter of our team and you know, couldn't be doing this without them. And they keep all the drivers up right with their energy drink. Yeah. Ab absolutely. So in the comments below, let us know guys, have you seen like the back end, the business end of NASCAR? going around in the back. Yeah, there's a lot more that goes into the, the, the other side other than the drivers, and this is an RV, again, a critical component to NASCAR. Put in Absolutely. the comments below for myself, MJ, Joe Graff Sr. Uh, it's a journey of a lifetime. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the road.